The kids when they head out to the bus stop this morning, Michelle. Well, foggy and damp would be two of the words I would use for this morning. We'll see some scattered showers during the morning hours, a rumble of thunder, non severe expected at times too. And looking at our Providence hurricane barrier camera, you can see some of that fog as you look out over the highway and visibility has been up and down throughout the night and early this morning. At the moment, we have quite a few locations, most of our spots, in fact, where the visibility is below one mile. So enough fog out there to slow you down. A couple of spotty lighter showers at the moment, watching some isolated, brief, heavier downpours. One of these is moving over Long Island right now and going to be trying to uh, lift up to the uh, north and east, so clipping the Rhode Island coastlines westerly heads up for a quick downpour there. Looking back to the west of us, our cold front stretches back in the western Pennsylvania right now, so there are showers along and ahead of that that have to work their way through, and those will be coming in during the mid to late afternoon hours through the early evening. So a few things going on. We've got dense fog this morning, showers and isolated thunder today, and then during the afternoon and evening, the winds will really start to pick up, and we'll see those strong wind gusts through the night. Thursday's threat tracker is low. Friday, we've got a little clipper type system that'll pass to our north. Could bring some snow in the morning, mixing with some rainfall. At this point, a minor accumulation uh, in the forecast for Friday morning, thinking less than an inch on the grass. Our temperatures right now, upper 30s to lower 40s over New England. The warm air back to the south and west of us, still Pittsburgh's at 60. They're in the warm sector of this frontal system. For us, it'll take until the afternoon for us to get there. Here's our warm front right now, so this will try to lift northward over the course of the morning, but it's going to be a slow process. So still a chill in the air when you walk out the door and begin your morning commute. Scattered showers along the coastline this morning and this afternoon, and we'll see additional showers coming through right into the start of the evening commute before that front clears out and the skies will do a little bit of clearing, so may even get some sunshine in by the end of the day today. Tomorrow morning, dry. We're quiet all through Thursday, at least precipitation wise, though it will be gusty and cool. Speaking of gusts, this is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That wind advisory gets underway, and you can see the potential for wind gusts between 40 and 55 miles per hour. It's still windy into the evening and night. It won't be until the pre-dawn hours where those winds will drop below advisory levels. So we're looking at potential for a few damaging wind gusts and isolated power outages. So fog and showers for your ride into work this morning. For the afternoon, we're looking at a mild day, at least for a few hours, with temperatures along the coastline in the 50s. But inland, we're looking at at some lower 60s, Woonsocket, Burrowville near 60s, Seekonk, uh, Attleboro, Fall River, even New Bedford, well into the 50s to lower 60s for a time. And this evening starts off mild, but as the front clears, the temperatures cool and will drop tonight under those clearing skies to around 30 degrees. So it'll be windy during the night with a west wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. We've got a little burst of uh, wintry weather on Friday. Look at Saturday. We're watching a storm system that's going to be forming off of the uh, southeastern and mid-Atlantic coastline. How close it comes will determine the impact, but our computer models have drawn it in a little bit closer to the coastline, and so that could give us some wintry weather Saturday evening through early Sunday morning. Something to keep an eye on. If that particular computer model, and this is the latest run of the European, is correct, we could see several inches of snow out of that system, so one to certainly keep an eye on. 60 degrees for today, 45 for your high temperature tomorrow with plenty of sunshine, but there is a uh, unseasonably cold air mass in place for Friday highs in the upper 40s. So any minor accumulation would uh, pretty quickly melt away like what we saw earlier this week, although I don't expect as much snow as what we had on Monday morning. Saturday on to watch again for some late day and overnight precipitation.